it's rolling. Hi everybody. Guys, this is Katie the Moth Hunter. This is the first time I'm doing a live Periscope YouTube with my husband holding the camera. He's never seen me done do a Periscope before in my life. So I'm a little camera shy, but that's okay, because here's what I want to show you. We are in our bedroom. This is the scene of the scene of the crime of the one moth that flew around here the other night that David, my husband, tried to catch with his bare hands and couldn't. And it reignited my obsession with moths because I've been fighting moths in our home for like two to two years, two to three years. It started in the kitchen, full out infestation of actual flying moths and little beetles. Little beetles, like they're tiny, teeny tiny. And I've cleared it. I've implemented new systems so that it's pretty good. But when one moth is flying in this room, it tells me, because I've learned, moths, when they're flying around, they're laying eggs. And those eggs turn into cocoons, and those cocoons turn into moths. So I wanted to find the cocoons, because what the heck is going on up here? So since my, my journey into becoming the moth hunter, I have learned that there's, at least for my house, two different kinds of moths. Pantry moths that eat the grains in your kitchen and clothing moths that ate uh, half my velvet, my leather, my pleather, and any other clothes that I hadn't worn in over a year. All of my high heels that I have not worn since becoming a mother, gone, trash. They were covered in cocoons and webs and nastiness. So I'm obsessed with, become, with finding these things. So we're here because we saw the one moth and I'm having to make, I'm having to admit to myself that I think I know where it's coming from and it's coming from the ceiling and I'm going to show you, I'm going to take the camera for my husband and show you, I think that these cocoons are on the ceiling and this is a little hard to Google. So I know I'm a moth hunter, but there are experts out there that I am reading what they're saying in the Google, in the internet. And I'm going to show you what I'm looking at because I brought my vacuum. We're vacuuming tonight. It's Saturday. Sometimes that's how we chill on Saturday nights. We vacuum. So I'm in the mode to vacuum. So that's why we're getting this episode right now. But let me show you if you can see. Okay. You're looking at the ceiling. You're seeing a lot of dots. I'm going to put my finger right there. At the end of my finger, there's this floating little piece of dust. Normally, I think it's dust. I think from this ceiling fan that is super dusty, look at that coating of dust. It's really gross. I think, oh, the ceiling fan's turning. It's just spitting dust on the ceiling. And because our ceiling is textured up there, it's sticking. But you guys, when, when random moths, because they do, when random moths come into this room, just one night, like we'll come in here, we'll turn the light on, and a moth will fly around the light, like where did it come from? I think it's coming from, do you see, that's a better picture. You see the shadow, you see the shadow coming off of that piece of dust. I think it's a cocoon that is eating dust because clothing moths and also carpet moths, which I'm starting to learn more about, eat fibers like cotton and other things like that. So this room, gets overlooked a lot for dusting. We keep it kind of clean, but we don't dust it all the time. But up, see, that's my cleaning supplies. I'm gonna dust it tonight. Because up here, let's see if you, I'm gonna expose our dust right here. Look, that's a lot. That's a lot of dust. And they're probably eating that. The other thing that they eat, and I'm gonna show you a demonstration, is spills in the carpet. Now this is an actually dangerous spill. This spill just spilled near an outlet, that's bad. But what, what happened tonight was, in order to kind of clean up for you right now to show you this episode of the Moth Hunter, episode, I think number nine, I moved my computer from right here to right here. What I didn't know was that there was a cup of water right there and I knocked the whole thing over. And I'm pointing this out because you guys, moths can happen to anybody. Not, they can happen to clean homes, dirty homes, it doesn't matter. So if you have a clean home and you think I'm never gonna get moths, it can even happen to you. 
So what I'm learning about carpet moths, you see this water spilled, it's dripping into this dangerous zone of a wire. This is wet. What I'm learning is that um, these moths, these little cocoons, when they're just little babies and they're eating stuff, they need moisture, but they don't drink water. They don't go like to a lake and drink water. They don't go to your cup of water and drink water. They get water from fibers where like rice is where pantry moths probably get a lot of their water because rice absorbs moisture. And that's why rice is such an easy invasion. So like, let's say something spilled and you're like, oh, I'll get to that later. I'm so busy. The kids are needing dinner. The dog needs to be walked. And you might forget about that spill down there. But you know who didn't forget? The little cocoons. So, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to gross you out. I'm not trying to make you paranoid. But I'm just trying to educate us about how they happen. So um, that's that. They can just... And maybe you don't care about moths. Maybe you don't care about little eggs. But if you ever see a moth and you're wondering where it came from, why it's here, this is probably why. So I'm going to go back to this, that thing up there. I really think it's a cocoon. And there's, that's not the only one on my ceiling. There's like 20 of them. And you know what? They've been here for years on my ceiling. But I've ignored them. But I'm not ignoring them anymore because I brought my Dyson. And the Dyson is going to suck them all away. Gone. I tried this downstairs. I have a couple other cocoons on the ceiling in another room. And it's strong enough that it just sucks them down. That's what I'm going to do. Easy. Gone. Taken care of. Have a great night. This is the Moth Hunter, episode 9 or 10. I got to replay and see what number we're on. And I'll catch you later. A lot of these episodes are in YouTube. So catch some replays if you want to learn about moths in your kitchen. But this tonight has been an episode about moths and cocoons in your clothing and your bedroom because of cotton fibers and other natural fibers and synthetic fibers, actually. We're just not safe. Okay. Bye. Have a great night.